So suction filtration in the organic labs can be done with many different types of equipment. We have large Buchner funnels and small Buchner funnels, which must be used with 500 and 250 milliliter filter flasks, respectively. We have Hirsch funnels and also small and large sintered glass funnels, the small which requires a filtration adapter. I'm going to show an example of using a larger sintered glass funnel. So the first step is always to clamp your filter flask to a retort stand. Then you have to attach the tubing. Next, you can place the center glass funnel on top of your filter flask and turn on the vacuum. Sintered glass funnels are really useful because they don't require the use of a filtered paper, which may contaminate some solutions. You can wet the sintered glass funnel a little, and then pour in your mixture. It will likely be necessary to rinse out your beaker several times to ensure all of your solid has made it to the funnel. solid with a few washes of whatever your solvent is, in this case it's just some distilled water, and then allow it to vacuum dry. Once you're done using your sintered glass funnel, first rinse the excess solid into the appropriate waste bottle and then wash it with warm soapy water in the sink and then some distilled water. Then you can bring it over here to the sintered glass funnel cleaning station. Put the sintered glass funnel on the filter flask and turn on the vacuum. and rinse the flask with some HCl solution. Once that's done, give it a thorough rinse with some distilled water. And you can turn off the vacuum again. At this point, you have to take all of your acid waste and dispose of it in the appropriate acid waste bottle, and then you can give the sintered glass funnel a final rinse with some acetone. It's important to make sure that hydrocarbon waste, such as acetone, and acid waste never mix.